Ah, oh, I'm looking too hard. This is the looker. Um, I feel like you don't go towards the door. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Okay. <laughs> okay? Sure. This is normal. Ah, uh, <laughs> ah, uh, <laughs> I'm looking. Oh, I'm looking. Just let me draw, though. <clears throat> no. How do I draw? drag your mouse on the screen to draw. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. That works. This option. Hello? Hello? This one! This one! Snowman! Ah! Oh. I did it. Easy, I can do a maze. I see how this works. Okay, so then what was that room back there then? Ammo in the health pack. Who's to say? What do I need ammo for? All I have is a crayon. What the fuck? Okay! It's kind of cool so far. I can't just draw wherever though. It has to be on something. Right. Yes. I did that. Oh. Kublai Khan received an ornate letter signed by Marco Polo. In Madrid, city of lost things, no item remains where it was set. If one drops his key in the dirt, he may never re-enter his home. And even if he manages to stoop and recover the key, he may rise to find a tulip garden where his house once stood. In complimentary fashion, things lost by others are forever turning up. A pocket watch on a coffee table. A fond memory in your recollection. I even know of a prince who turned up in a prison cell. When he appealed to the guards for his release, he failed to find the crown on his head. And when he was asked his name, he searched his thoughts, but could not find it. Indeed. The only hope now for the release of this prince of Spain is for you to send back 300 ducats for his release. Of course, he will reward you handsomely once he is out. Yours truly, Marco. Kublai Khan cocked an eyebrow and declared before his court, Hey everyone, looks like we're about to get ripped off by the guy who traded gold for paper. The court erupted in booming laughter. Italo Calvino, Invisible Cities 2, this time it's visible. All right, okay, I'm seeing it. I'm with you. Start to end, end to start. Huh. Okay. 
<laughs> easy, easy. I'm so good at doing mazes with no turns in them. Guess I'll just keep going. What the? Now, I'm not really too well versed in medieval history, but I don't remember them having laser gates. <laughs> Who am I to say? Ah. A challenge. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Hint. You can do it. Thanks. I believe in you. Thanks. This is all you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, keep trying. Yeah, there's a trick to it, but you've got it. Yeah, uh, maybe, uh, maybe you can't do it. Oh, you. Maybe you're weak. Maybe oh you're God. stupid. You should be embarrassed, but you keep crawling back like a mewling calf at my chafing teeth. <laughs> Pathetic. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to insult you. You can do it. Oh my God. What a guy. There we go. All patched up. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Oh, here we go. Hello. You can't draw in books in this game. <laughs> oh, a maze. Great at maze. <laughs> nice! <laughs> okay. Easy. 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 Draw on the sun? No. Oh, great. Through many births, I have wandered on and on, searching for, never finding, a better deal than 0% APR on <laughs> certified pre owned vehicles. For trucks tougher than a drunk marine come to Mike's Prium, where we do the things that get things done. All right, <laughs> hell yeah. Go to Mike's Pre-owned after this. Hmm. So useful. Glad I came up here. Is there a range to my drawing? Probably. Go on, get. Don't look at me. <laughs> Tough times, hey? Can you hear me? I'm nothing but a rusty chunk of steel. You don't want nothing to do with me. You insult me like the last guy? Alright, alright. I'll tell you my story. It was June back when you got a good one. <laughs> what a guy. What? All right. Uh, 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 oh. Great. 
What if I just like... That's cheating. I'll do the maze. God damn it. Oh. Can I just go through walls? Wait, what? This side you can just go through walls? <laughs> Not much of a maze then, is it? <laughs> okay. Sure. I can't just cheese everyone, right? I gotta prove I'm competent. Wait a minute. The one I actually try on is impossible. <laughs> Fuck. They got me. They got me so good. Ugh. Oh no. Wait, what? I made it there. Come on. I see. A conundrum to be sure. If I draw a battering ram to take down their walls. Mm, on Second thought, maybe I won't draw that. I'm bad at drawing. Nice. Oh. Here's a start. Oh, I get it! This is a line! Oh, oh. So this one end? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> I need superpowers to beat that maze. Also, I need to get over this wall, somehow. Hmm. Something to do with this chessboard, for sure. So how do I win at chess? I can't play. I'm missing something, surely. But what? But where? Sword. Missing a control? What's going on here? 
No. A solar panel. Pretty quick game if I can't figure out the like second puzzle. Surely I can get through this door somehow. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what the? Just write open? Does it matter if I write words? Stop. Do not come in. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Uh, I did it. Hello, sir. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, he left. Sweet. Thank you. Appreciate that. Maze game? What the f <laughs> Let me night. What's I say? Do not scratch. Hey, my bad. Nice. All right. Can beat any maze with a gun. Can I keep that, actually? No. Shame. Well, that's easy. What a nice painting. What a nice painting. That's very original. It just needs more red, I think. Fuck you. Try adding some more uh, stuff. No. Minimalism is a neoliberal crush. <laughs> you need to paint more. Okay. that. Having paint at the edge of the canvas makes you look desperate. Try again. 
Keep. Another note. Imagine gravity is fractal, because light is just a wave and gravity is just a wave. So imagine there's a big piece of glass that splits up gravity like a prism, so that there's like blue gravity and yellow gravity, and then somebody gets hit by the red gravity, and it makes them super heavy, so they have super strength, but like, they're also really slow. And another guy gets hit by microwave gravity, so he's trying to zap everybody, and just when he's about to zap the main guy, we see a lady come out, and she turns out to be ultraviolet girl, and she has super speed so she beats him. And it, like, also gave her giant cans. Thomas Pinchon, Gravity's Rainbow. What a genius. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, oh, God! Ah! Oh, why did I do that? Oh. Why? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, what if I look this way? Oh! Sky! Cool. Oh, do I have to? Hmm. I like the philosophy aspect of this game. I think it's interesting. I need a way to interact besides drawing. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. No, try putting some more loops on it. Now you have too many loops. <laughs> You're such a best. It simply must have more loops. This isn't the MoMA. We can afford more loops. Wow, that's what you wanted? I hate you. No! No, don't do it! Come back! You have so much to live for! Yeah, anyways, whatever. Oh, yay. I feel like I'm too deep in the notes now. I just have to find them all. A ship owner was about to send to sea a venerable old ship. He knew that her barnacle hull, however, had often needed repairs, and doubts were suggested to him that possibly she was not seaworthy. The conscientious old captain thought at once to have her thoroughly refitted, even though it should put him at great expense. Before the ship sailed, however, he managed to stifle these bothersome misgivings and said to himself that she had gone safely through so many voyages that it was idle to suppose that this trip should be any different. He put his trust in Providence and banished from his mind all ungenerous suspicions about the honesty of the ship's builders, and in such ways he acquired a sincere and comfortable conviction that his vessel was altogether safe and seaworthy. He watched her departure with a light heart, encouraging the crew to dream of the profits that this voyage would return. And he got his insurance money, and she went down in mid-ocean and told no tales. What shall we say of him? Surely this, that his belief in the safety of his ship was justified because it was grounded in repeated practical experimentation rather than the hubris of rationalistic a priori belief. It is admitted that he put his confidence in the builders of this vessel, but even this confidence was misplaced, for these were the self-same charlatans who sought to sell him gratuitous repairs later on, and big ship is always going to get one over on the little guy. Further, we may see that the ship is religion, and the shipwright is Richard Dawkins. The crewmates are empiricism, and the barnacles are neoplatonism, and the captain of that ship was Albert Einstein. What the hell more was research I before I played this game? What the hell? I've heard some of that before, like, you know. Sweet. 
A priori beliefs. I've heard that one. Pretty sure that was Kant's thing. Nice. What did that do? Why did I kill those guys? <laughs> Okay. Ah. Probably open this door. What? 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 <laughs>